What's up, YouTube? I wanted to uh, take a quick minute and uh, on the subject this week of risk, I wanted to get a video up today in lieu of one this weekend. We got some uh, some other stuff going on here at the at the Lamb Dog Ranch, so I'm not gonna be able to put a vid up this weekend. So this is gonna have to be it until next week. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, what I want to do is uh, demonstrate uh, how how you minimize risk in a trade. This can work for interday. It can work for swing trading, I think. But it, it's it's a demonstration of why a a set risk of one to two is so important. Here's a trade in the stock market. Heads our trade is right, tails our trade is wrong. There's really no way to psychically predict which way it's going to go and anybody that tells you for sure is either a cheat or a liar. That's just a fact. Nobody's psychic and at the end of the day there needs to be a person on the other side of that transaction saying yeah I'll buy it for that or yeah I'll sell it for that. Okay, so, so don't let anybody think that there's some sort of mystical wizardry. Now, what a risk-reward ratio of 1 to 2 is, if we're wrong, we're only going to be risking half of what our reward would be if we're right. So what our reward would be if we're right will be what the market's giving us. If it's 10 points, it's 10 points. If we're wrong, we want that to be half of it, so it's 5 points. But I'm going to demonstrate some quick and dirty math on that. And what we're going to be doing, we got heads and tails. And I'm going to show you with a coin flip how a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio will work out so well. Now the value of heads will be plus 2. The value of tails will be minus 1. All right, and we're going to do 10 coin flips. Here we go. Heads. Ah, dropping a little. Tails. Heads. Tails. Tails. Heads. Tails. Seven flips. Got three more to go. Heads. Heads. Tails. Oddly enough, this worked out as uh, being correct 50%. Now, what the significance of this is, is a person isn't going to be right all the time, but how do you win if you're right even less than half the time? In any normal circumstance, without a good risk to reward ratio, this is breaking even. But because we have this set risk to reward ratio, when we're wrong, we stop the loss early at half the value of what when we're right will be. So here we are. This equals plus 10, and this equals minus 5. So instead of a instead of a one to one, which would have us break even, we end the day at plus 5. Now let's say we are in that situation where our picks were right three out of seven times, okay? How could you handle that? Well, you're going to need to adjust. If your stock picks are only right 30% of the time, then obviously you're going to need to adjust that risk, okay? And you're going to need to go for a weight ratio of about one to three, meaning that for every three dollars you make you'll only be able to stand losing one dollar so if we if we end up after a hundred picks notice that we're only right thirty percent of the time you can still make money only being right thirty percent of the time people believe it or not if you have good risk 
to reward ratio because that would give us based on our earlier values of coin flip our reward is three and we were right three times so our reward was plus nine but we only risk one so when we're wrong we only let it draw down one point so that's minus seven overall you're left with positive two now it's not going to be as good as when you're right more however this is a demonstration of how when you're only right 30 percent of the time if you have good risk management and good reward management and good money management you're still making money in the market anyway um, everything that I just showed you is just kind of what works for me you're gonna need to put put your own um, your own data together <clears throat> and find out what works best for you and um, this is just for more or less entertainment purposes and um, the risks in the market can be very great just as I stated before and um, until sometime next week y'all take care